lovely to see you both. Lovely Thank you for joining you. us. And we've got two big announcements. Martin, first of all, Richard Leonard. Yes, what is going on in the Scottish Labour Party at the moment, honestly? Uh, he has now said today that he would prefer to support England over Scotland in either football or rugby. Now, he is missing out at the moment on some very, very good rugby. Scotland is playing extremely well, even though, unfortunately, very the results are very close. Yes. Pity that we weren't allowed to play the last point. But, you know, hey, I think, I think that... The, has the, he just the, scored an own goal? I think he has. See what I did there? Uh, no. Yes, yeah, it's a political on goal. You have to laugh. It's, it's a joke. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, he's obviously he's just become the leader of the yeah. Labour Party. Even if he has these feelings, yeah. why bother exactly. saying something is, like is, that? Is now? it important? But having said that, yeah, what is Kezia doing, going off to the jungle? I'm afraid, yeah. uh, you know, know, it's not it's not the sort of thing that you expect a politician to do. Oh, they are meant to set an example. I'm going to shock and stun you. Has a politician just been honest? With maybe, yeah, maybe I mean, it does. Yes, and I mean Vince mm. Cable was on Strictly, so yeah, uh, yeah, they're probably there yeah. to enjoy themselves. But, but I think it's, uh, I think it's all a bit of a. Uh, I think you have to set an example, and yeah. I think that a lot of politicians at the moment are not setting an yeah, example across the board. But going back mm -hmm. to the story and saying like you support England, is it, is it one of the things that we should really stop getting up in arms about? I, I, I really don't care. Yeah, like, <laughs> I mean, yeah, he's from Yorkshire. Why wouldn't he support England? Yeah. What is the big deal? Yeah. yeah. I <laughs> yeah, I think I mean, it's Gordon, kind of as symbol as that. It's not relevant to being a When Gordon Brown politician. was Prime Minister, he said that one of his favourite goals of all time was watching Gaza score that goal against Scotland at Wembley at Euro 96. Mm. And the reason he said that was just to sort of like make mm. him feel like to all the electorate across mm. the UK that I'm... I'm inclusive. I'm, I'm or inclusive, yes. maybe mm. he just thought it was a really good goal. Right? <laughs> Again, do you think we read into yeah, these things Andy yeah. as well. We, we talked about earlier. Yeah, but Andy went with the kind of classic Scottish joke of anyone better. England and got absolutely torn apart for it in the media. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. Do you think? Do you think you maybe just keep I your, think your sporting I preferences think to yourself? I, I don't I know. Was he was he actually questioned on it? Because if, he, he's just been on, if he's been yes, honest, yes, I think yes, that's yes, a good yes, thing yes, in yeah, politics. I, I think that, yes, there are, there are so many politicians that are just not being. Yeah, totally honest with exactly. Their, their so views. it's a rarity. Uh, Maybe it's a good thing. Maybe it's a good <laughs> thing you also support. Shall we move on to Kevin Bridges? Yes. Oh, isn't that going to be fun? Yeah. So uh, Kevin Bridges has just announced his first UK tour in three years. Yes. Yes. Um, so he's going to be doing six dates yes. in Glasgow alone yeah. at the Hydro. So yeah. And for an Edinburgh, be for an Edinburgh yeah. as well. Yeah. 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 This uh, guy is Glasgow hugely Winslow. popular. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and, and, yeah. But what he says, he said he's been out of the limelight for sort of three years, and he wants uh, and he and he wants to come back and try and save the world because he said the world has sort of fallen apart in the three years since he's sort of been around, really do, yeah, doing yeah. touring. And I, I think he's got a great attitude. I think he's got a wonderful attitude. But it's a pity we can get back to the the ticket situation that you know the tickets are all sold out now why are they sold out because the agencies have taken all the pick all, all the tickets it's a story for another day yeah. <laughs> it's so annoying because i can't yeah. get a ticket now yeah, yeah. no like 700 oh, pounds Kevin is on sale friday so yes. you're all right yeah, yeah. just be be, on, be ready be ready, be ready. Be ready. Be i'm not prepared to be online <laughs> 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 want to know where I, where can you get these shaga mushrooms there is a forager he's a master forager and he goes out all over the place every day and forages and then you can buy all of this beautiful, freshly foraged things from his mm. name's Maxine. It's great. It tastes like it's been foraged. And I mean that in a good way, like it's mm. earthy. Is it earthy? earthy? It's supposed mm. to be that really deep, rich yeah. flavor. The bourbon flavor comes out. Mm. Yeah, the definitely. nutmeg, the mm. cloves. Oh, do you like it? Do you like that? Mm, I do. <laughs> 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 it's not egg nog, it's egg yes. Oh, yeah. oh. 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 Yes. yes. I'll leave. <laughs> <laughs> Liberty. What do you think? Hey, this is Have great. I been proven wrong? Yeah. You're for real. You're not just faking? No, I, you know me. I would tell you the truth. If I thought that was rubbish, you. I would tell you that was rubbish. That is gorgeous. <laughs> you like it? Yeah. It's Lovely. a nice Christmas drink. Mm -hmm. Love it. I've mm -hmm. never seen this in, a, in, my, in my local supermarket. No, I don't think it's there. <laughs> well done, Liberty. Nice little cinnamon sugar mm. It's not yeah. sweet. I think How boozy is it? Is this going to floor me? No, it burns off. Okay, cool. <laughs> Don't drink the whole thing if you're driving. Oh, I am. Yeah. <laughs> He's getting the train. I'm on the train. We cook through it. It cooks off. Thank you so much, Liberty. We've got some more stories to talk about, though. Um, Tell her robots, Sarah. <laughs> I'm a yeah. bit scared. So Scotland, great place to make a film. Yes. Um, and Edinburgh is the set for a new film um, about killer drones. 
It's made by a lobby group yes. um, called Campaign Against Killer Robots. Mm -hmm. And it's about an American student who is studying in Edinburgh, but then is targeted by these horrible drones that are, you know, watching us all and keeping yeah. everyone in check and making sure there's no dissent. Big Brother, big big brother. Yeah. exactly. You talk about that on my yeah. yeah. I, I just don't like, I'm afraid I'm, I'm not into the, these drones. I think there's a, there's a, I think there's a lot to, to answer for them. You know, uh, peering at us, you know, also yeah. traffic safety, air traffic yeah. safety, all these things, people with near misses. Um, yeah, I think that's the thing. I think happy. this is almost meant to be a cautionary tale yeah. that was screened at the United Nations Summit in Geneva. Is this something that we actually might have to then be dealing with in the not too distant future, Gary? Possibly. I Hopefully mean, drones not. have already been used, yeah. in, obviously, in war, um, but there have other uses as well. I think it is really important to debate these issues in engineering the because, but yeah, there, there exactly, are they're going to affect us in the future. Huge um, internet companies that are looking at using drones to deliver their parcels. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't yeah. know how I feel about that. How you automation might affect jobs, for example. I would, I would, I would just turn. Yeah. I, would I just think turn you have to have a big garden. Well, the other <laughs> thing is, so I would just turn up at people's houses and just wait and catch them and just leave. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. We'll move on because there's a wee bit of sad oh. news. Yeah. Uh, oldest supermarket worker. Yeah. 94. Before he's died, unfortunately, yes. Oh. Uh, but he's, he retired initially at, at 65 and then got so bored being <laughs> at home that he wanted to go back and work again. And he was in 94 and he's retired. And I must say, I'm, I am of exactly that same book. I will be carted out in a box yeah. where, before I retire. I right. still love it. And Martin, you've got 30 seconds because okay. there's a new book, 101 Men in Kilts, featuring Scots and Highland Clobber. It does what it says in the tin. Could it be a favourite this Christmas? I'm pretty sure it'll be a favourite. I mean, I'm <laughs> 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 I <laughs> I will leave uh, that right there. No, 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 I've got a little story about this. You've got ten seconds. <laughs> well, I was I was given a search, a, a body search by an extremely handsome Indian soldier once when I was being presented to the Indian Prime Minister. Take the eggnog off him. <laughs> Take the eggnog <laughs> off him. <laughs> That's it for Tuesday. Join us again live at five tomorrow when we'll be chatting to Patricia Ward Kelly, Gene Kelly's widow of our Hollywood legend husband's life. We'll also be speaking to YouTube sensation Korean Bill which I'm really excited about, a man who's translated some of the UK's most unique dialect, like Doric, Scouse, Glaswegian, and now Dundonian. But let's close with the lovely Lucy Lintot, who, was, who we saw earlier, singing yeah. alongside Michelle McManus on almost 1,400 other voices. This is Choirs with Purpose with Paul McCartney's classic, We All Stand Together, out on Friday. Good night. Yay!